Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to change the, emissions, the ignition switch on a 2006 Honda Civic. So if you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and take this lower piece out from under the dash. Uh, it's not, it just held in my clip, so you just got to pull it, just yank on it and it should come out. Then take this one screw off to take the upper piece of the dash out. You don't really need to do this part, but I just felt like it was a little bit easier if you do that. Go ahead and tilt your uh, steering wheel down with the lever. And then go ahead and take this piece out. So now this piece is only held in by uh, just clips. So go ahead and yank it gently and work it out of the car around the, uh, the headlight stock. Once you do that, then you just need to take the little plug out to fully take it out of the car and put it somewhere else. And then take off these three screws. So this holds the bottom piece, the ignition area together. It's like a cover basically. So one, here's two, and then take the third one out. Once you do that, then you can go ahead and go ahead and take uh, take your move your steering lever, your tilt steering lever down, and then go ahead and take this bottom piece out, and then take the top piece out. <clears throat> so there you go, take that out, take the top piece out. And then now you can get to your actual ignition switch. So this is it right here. It's only held in by two screws and the the plug. Um, but there is a kind of an issue that it's there's a basically you can't really get a screwdriver in there. So what you could do is you could make like a hole or something in the plastic to get a screwdriver to, so you can stick a screwdriver straight through. Or I have a link to an adapter for a a, a drill. So you could use that as well. Um, I'll show you the way we did it. So here I'm just showing you where you know more angles of where the screws are so there's the one you can see and then the other one is behind behind the actual switch so where i'm pointing to so if you look in there you'll see it it's not a big deal so this is what we did we took a drill bit and a crescent wrench and applied maximum finger pressure while we we're turning the crescent wrench to get the the screw out and it worked so that way we didn't have to put in any uh any holes in the car which i really didn't want to do and then go ahead and take the other the other screw out so like I said just look in there you can see it and take it out <clears throat> and then go ahead and unplug the plug so basically it's easier at this point you can just take the ignition switch out and then just take the plug out so with the one you know pinch point right there it's found it's a lot easier to take it out first that way you can hold it and not just use your finger and try to slide it out so then everything else is in reverse order so go ahead and put the, the screw in the back it back in put the screw on the side back in and then go ahead and put the top piece of the cover on and then the bottom piece feed that through your tilt steering lever and the two pieces actually attach together so the top part has like some hooks that go into the bottom so that's kind of why I was having a little bit of issue here trying to get it together because they weren't hooked together correctly so make sure you hook the top one in first and then snap it together put this plug back in and then you can put the top of your dash back in and so you know feed it around your your headlight stock and then basically you just got to wiggle it in until you find the right, you know, the right fit to get it into place correctly. Once you do that, put the three screws on the bottom that hold the uh, whole engine, the engine, the ignition cover area together. And then put this one screw back in. And then go ahead and put the lower cover back on. And that's it. So if you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.